Hey guys, a um, couple of uh, couple of people have been asking me how I mounted this gas can to my CF Moto 600 um, touring, and uh, got this machine probably about three months ago. Um, did a review on it in the beginning of what my my thoughts were. Um, I'm extremely impressed with this machine. Um, it has done everything I've asked it to do. It has pretty much everything I've put it through. It has surprised me, so to speak. But nonetheless, uh, right now the machine has. Let's take a look. Whoop! Bear with me. Sorry about that. I uh, did it again. Of course, I went past 28 hours. Are you kidding me? Nah, that's not right. Hold on. Where are my total miles? 293 miles. Anyway, um, so like I said, Many people have asked me how I mounted this to this machine. And what I did is, and I'll post the links in the below. Um, I ended up buying, it's actually for a side-by-side -side or a Jeep, so to speak, a mount that mounts to tubular rails. And when I got it, I'm sitting there thinking like, how am I gonna mount this thing to this? So, how it comes, and bear with me, I'm trying to use one hand, I don't have a holder for this GoPro, but this is what comes in the kit. It's this and the mount that is down here, which actually bolts to this. This mounts to your tube on your side-by-side, -side, your tube frame or your Jeep or whatever. I was hoping to mount it to this right here. But, as you can see, the thickness is quite thick, and it, without modification, there's no way I would have got this tight, plus it would have stuck up, it would have stuck up, it would have looked ridiculous. So what I had done, and I thought about it, I'm thinking to myself, these, the, so the, the front end on at least the 600 on my machine, I'm not sure if the 500 is the same, and the 800 or the 1000, but they're in three pieces, so you can access under the hood so I'm thinking to myself I went online I looked and I'm like well if I drill through this I mean I could always replace this if I wanted to if I sold the machine or if I traded it and I decided you know what I'm actually gonna do it it wasn't very expensive it was fairly inexpensive so this is what I ended up doing so it is a little dirty under there because we rode yesterday and I did wash it, but I didn't take this off to clean it. So that's what I did. I actually took this piece off of that piece, templated it, templated it, if that's even a word, <laughs> and mounted it with, I did add some um, lock washers and mounted this to the plastic. And I mean, I'm pulling on it and it's not going anywhere. And this is obviously bolted, you know, with Allen bolts down to the, down to the, uh, the rack. Um, and that's pretty much it. And honestly, I've ridden two, three times now with this and not a single issue. It has not come loose. I have not hit the handlebars with it. Um, you know, people are saying, you know, what about if you take a collision, blah, 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 blah. What if you catch a tree branch? What if you hit a, you know, whatever. I mean, it's pretty out of the way. I'm going to have to really probably total this machine in order to even hit this. Um, at least head on. So, but there you have it. Uh, I think it kind of looks naked. It needs another one on the other side, which that will come eventually. Um but I will post the links in the uh, comment section or in the uh, description. And uh, there you have it. How to mount a two gallon gas can to a CF Moto ATV.
Thanks for watching, guys.